business principles on the Smart Chiropractor Show. This is where we wrap up the show with business principles that you can apply in your practice. So this is where the why meets the how and understanding what you can do to build a more stable practice, to build a practice that maybe has a little bit less stress. And today's topic ties directly into that. We're going to talk about how monthly recurring revenue creates chiropractic practice freedom. Yes, that is a bold promise, but we're going to show you exactly why that is the case. Jason, what does chiropractic practice freedom have to do with monthly recurring revenue? You you know, we've been doing this for a a long time, in fact, decades. And when I say this, I mean helping chiropractors really understand how to serve as many people as possible with as much joy and gratitude in your day-to-day focus on serving people. Now, one of the things that inspired me so much about becoming a chiropractor, I know you feel the same, Jeff, is the concept of giving, loving, and serving out of your abundance, not out of your need, but out of your ability to have extra, my cup runneth over, as they say, having the ability to be generous and kind. But you can only be generous and kind if you, in fact, can afford to be generous and have the spirit of being kind. And unfortunately, that's where too many in our profession break down, fall down, and aren't able to actualize or deliver on that promise. And just like most chiropractors I know, if somebody came in to see them with whatever their health history uh, and symptom chart indicated, more often than not, many chiropractors, maybe most, hopefully, would come down to the simple conclusion that you are likely suffering from a vertebral subluxation causing interference in your nerve system, interfering with your body's ability to heal itself and heal and function optimally. And what we have discovered to be the equivalent of the vertebral subluxation in your practice is what we refer to as financial stress. Typically, when you figure out the decisions you're making of what to do and what not to do, what to say and what not to say, where to teach, or in your case, market, and where not to market, just about every decision you make is filtered through, will that make me money? What will be my return on investment or ROI if I take that action? And that's no different than somebody who's living in chronic pain. Their life is not a life of freedom. It is a life of managing the stress of the pain. And what I'm trying to say here is that there is a very interesting metaphor that people who live in pain do not have freedom because they can only do what they can do relative to the impact the pain has. Now, if they can relieve that pain, better off if they can heal from that pain, they then can experience freedom in their life to do the things they want to do pain-free. And what we're suggesting to you is the same concept as it relates to your finances, that so long as you feel financial stress on a monthly basis, and I'm going to be clear, this does not matter how much money you make. There are multi-million dollar practices with the owners feeling monthly financial stress, because as it's been said, it's not how much you make, it's how much you keep. It is your ability to make sure that you can consistently cover your monthly recurring expenses month after month after month without any financial stress. And so the model we are introducing to the profession, which is not a new model, it is new to the profession, is the concept to be able to experience your own financial freedom or mental pain relief, if you'd like to think of it as, by healing through it. How do you heal your financial stress? Well, you make sure that the financial requirements or expenses that you know are coming up month after month after month, your rent, your mortgage, your insurance payments, your staff payroll payments, whatever monthly recurring expenses that you have month after month after month after month, can and should be addressed by monthly recurring revenue that you have figured out, we can help you do that, but I'm staying high level, that you're able to generate monthly recurring revenue that meets your monthly recurring expenses so that you can practice mentally, financially pain-free. 
and the world becomes very different. You probably know from experience, yours and people in your practices experience, that when people are living with pain, they can only experience a certain level or quality of freedom and joy. When that pain is healed through, the world opens up to an entirely different, wider spread network of opportunities. When you're pain free, the world is your oyster. When you're in pain, you've got lots of limitations. And when you're stressed financially, you've got lots of limitations. But when you are free because you have the confidence knowing that your monthly recurring expenses are covered by your monthly recurring income, you once again are mentally free to serve, to give, to be joyful in what you do and really have the freedom to work with who you want and not work with who you do not want, whether that's certain patients or certain payers, whether that's in certain places or at certain times. When you are certain your expenses are covered, life becomes freedom, and that's what we want for chiropractors. Because the number one reason why this profession continues to struggle and suffer is because most people don't understand what we do. And the number one reason why people don't understand what we do or what you do is because we're not doing a really great job expressing the potential people have to experience in their lives by using your specific services. And if we can focus on that, keep our eye on that ball, because you don't need the money, but because you can generously afford to share your truth, regardless if somebody says, that makes sense to me or it doesn't, you can be truthful regardless because you know you're taken care of, practice and life become very different. Jeff? Jason, I, I don't have much to add. You said that so very well. Docs out there, the major thing I would like to get across is this doesn't matter how you practice. When you can reduce the freedom in your practice, regardless of how you apply your craft, your life becomes exponentially better. Your practice becomes different. You can have a heck of a lot more fun in the process. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to The Smart Chiropractor. We are posting videos on how you can market your chiropractic practice in a way that teach and invites consistently. We have found that is the magic formula to big time growth. So if you like this video, be sure to comment down below, smash that subscribe button, or visit us at thesmartchiropractor.com.